Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. So let's get started. Today I'm making grilled pork belly with cabbage. So let's uh, review the ingredients. This is uh, Berkshire uh, pork and it's a heritage of black pig. It has a wonderful natural pork flavor. It's very moist and tender and it has a nice marbling too. And I got this at the Asian market in the freezer section. It was sliced thin for hot pot. And I believe you can probably also get it at a Whole Foods. Have cabbage, takaran mirin, soy sauce, and sake. Okay, for the prep, uh, let's start with the pork belly. We'll cut it up into thirds. I'm just stacking it so I can cut it all at one time. And you can also use regular pork belly. Have the butcher slice it very thin for you. Okay, so I'll just cut it in two thirds. Next, uh, let's uh, marinate this. Have sake, soy sauce, and the mirin. A mirin is a sweetened sake. Now I'm just going to use my hands to mix this. Just make sure every slice has some marinade on it. Okay, so let's put this aside and let this uh, marinate for about uh, 20 minutes. I'll wash up and we can continue on with the rest of the prep. And next, uh, let's uh, cut up the cabbage. And I also have a bowl of uh, ice water here. We'll cut the cabbage in half and core it. And we'll cut this into very fine shreds. And we're going to put this into the ice water. And by placing the cabbage in the ice water, it's going to give it a nice, crispy, crunchy texture. Okay, so all the prep is done. We'll wait another like um, 10 minutes for the pork to finish marinating and we can start cooking. And here I have a stovetop grill. It has a slotted top and underneath there's a ring to catch any uh, oil. So it has to set at a medium heat. So let's lay the pork on top. And if you don't have a stove top grill, you can use a grill pan. And you can flip it over once you start seeing the top become opaque. And that looks good. And your kitchen is going to smoke up. And just cook it for about a minute or so each side. And depending on how char you like the pork belly, you can keep it on a little longer. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, so let's remove these pieces. Remove the cooked pieces.
Okay, this is the last of the pieces. Be careful of the flare up. Okay, about a minute each side. Okay, this is done. Turn the heat off. Remove it all from the pan. And doesn't this look good? Let's put the dish together. I have a dish towel here. I'm removing the cabbage from the ice water. It's gonna roll in the towel to remove, remove the moisture. And remove as much excess water as possible. And this is going to provide a really nice contrast to the pork. Oh, let's put the cabbage in the center of the plate. And we'll take the pork and just drape it along the top. And the cabbage is going to be a nice balance to the richness of the pork belly. You get a bite of the hot you get a bite of the pork belly along with the crunchy texture of the cabbage. And here we have a wonderful plate of grilled Berkshire pork belly with cabbage. It's a nice contrast in color, aroma, flavor, and texture. Enjoy! Okay, let's see if Shadow likes it. Ooh, yummy, yummy. She loves pork belly. Thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, eat well and be healthy. Good girl.